Next, we head to Tampa, Florida for the case against 47-year-old Matthew Terry. Terry's been charged with first-degree murder and the stabbing death of his live-in girlfriend, 43-year-old Kay Baker. Six months earlier, Terry and Kay, a third-grade math and science teacher, were out at a bar with another couple. A jealous Terry spotted Kay, along with her friend Kelly Andrews, briefly dancing with an unknown man. Kelly reportedly tried to calm Terry down, and the incident seemed to blow over. But when Terry and Kay got home later that night, he allegedly attacked her, stabbing her multiple times in the neck. Kay collapsed on the front lawn, and a neighbor called 911. 911, please, fire medical. I need uh, emergency, please. Do you know what happened? My husband heard someone screaming, and then we came outside. Do you know if this person was assaulted? I don't know. We just came outside. They have a major wound to their neck, and they're struggling to breathe. Is the blood spurting or pouring out? You know, it's all over the ground. When paramedics arrived, it was too late. Kay died on the scene from her injuries. Police, meanwhile, began a search of the home. Sheriff's office! Sheriff's office! <laughs> Inside, there was no sign of Terry. But just down the street, police spotted a trail of blood. Canine officers followed it to a group of bushes where they found Terry hiding in the brush, dressed only in his underwear. Terry was arrested and charged with Kay's murder, but he claimed he wasn't responsible and pled not guilty. The case went to trial, and the state sought the death penalty. One of the first witnesses to be called was Kelly Andrews, Kay's friend who was at the bar the night of the murder. Did you specifically tell the defendant that Kay Baker was not dancing with the other guy? Correct. And how did the defendant react or respond to that? I remember him saying something very strange along the lines of, I want to protect my queen and my kingdom. I was telling him he was being jealous and just to stop. Perhaps the most compelling testimony of the trial came from someone who had nothing to do with the incident, Michelle Rogers, a former girlfriend of Terry's. Five years earlier in Michigan, Michelle suffered a similar attack at the hands of the defendant. Terry was convicted of assault to do bodily harm, but served just three years in prison. So what happens next? He keeps punching me um, wherever he can find access to punch me. So whether it be the face, the chest, the back, wherever. At any point, do you say something to him to try and defuse the situation? Um, yes, there was a point um, when I yelled at him, I said, you know, I love you, why are you doing this? And he, he said, um, no, you don't, f you, I'm gonna kill you. And then the next thing you know, um, Mr. Terry comes around behind me and stabs me in the neck. This entire time, I'm. I'm screaming for someone to come help me. And when we both heard the sirens, that's when he got up off of me and ran back in the house. After both sides came to rest, it took the jury a little over an hour to return with a verdict. Was this jury able to reach a unanimous verdict in this case? Yes, Your Honor. We, the jury, find as follows. The defendant is guilty of first-degree murder as charged. The jury voted against the death penalty and recommended a sentence of life in prison. Before imposing sentence, Judge Christopher Sabella had a final state for the defendant. I listened to the testimony of Ms. Rogers. I don't know what happened in Michigan as far as the trial and the sentence, but based on what I heard, I believe that you should have been in prison in Michigan and that Miss Baker should still be alive. This is Florida. You're going to prison for the rest of your life. Judge Sabella sentenced Terry to life in prison. He'll have no chance of parole. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.